Okay, so this is the question six on the downloadable worksheet on histograms. Now, like before, with all of the histogram questions, it's always a good idea to the very first thing you do is to write out the formula that you're going to need to use. So frequency density equals frequency divided by class width. And that's going to be very important when you're answering this particular type of question, which with a lot of these, um, I would say this is becoming a more frequent question where they give you partial information and ask you to complete the frequency table or ask you to complete the histogram itself. OK, so the first thing is, I hope you can see this OK. The first thing is you'll notice that we've got a couple of missing bars here. Uh, we've also got some missing information on the frequency density axis and we've also got a table here which has got two missing bits in it. OK, so the first thing is, is that I'm going to, um, I'm just going to do a process as I would do normally, that I'm going to work out the frequency density because it's going to be very important for my left hand side axis, my vertical axis. So the first one is frequency density equals frequency divided by class width, so that's going to be 160 divided by 10, that equals 16. So what that's telling me is that on my frequency density histogram here, this measurement must be 16 because it's my first bar, my class width of 10, which is great, and the frequency density is 16, so that must go up there. The second thing is, is that um, it allows me then to start calculating and looking at the next um, piece of information, which is this bar across here. Because if this is 16, then it kind of makes sense that I can now divide this up into 4, 8 and 12, because then they're all equidistant. And that's great, because I then know that my second class width, which is this one here between 10 and 25, has a frequency density of 4. So that allows me then to calculate the information I know that I've got here. So my class width is 15 and my frequency density is 4. So that's going to, using my formula, is going to give me a frequency of 60. That's great, so I'm happy with that. In a similar way, I can also calculate my frequency for line 3 here, because I know the class width is going to be 5, and I know from my diagram that the uh, frequency density is 8, so that's going to give me 40. OK, that's brilliant. No problems at all with that. And then finally, I need to add my two bars. Well, I'm just going to my two bars for this and this one here. So I need to also have the frequency density for those. So again, I'm going to calculate those by using the frequency divided by the class width, which is 10. So that's going to be 10. And then the final one is the frequency is 120 divided by the class width of 30, and that's going to give me 4. Well, that's excellent because now I can just complete my diagram at the top here by saying that the uh, fourth bar along will give me a class width of 10, which is great, between 30 and 40, so it's this one here. And then it's going to give me a frequency density of 10, so it's going to be about here, just between the 8 and the 12 there. And then finally, uh, the last one has got a frequency density of 4, and it's also got a class width of 30 between 40 and 70. So 40 to 70, and it's going to give me a frequency density of 4. So it's going to look a little bit like that. OK, I hope that's been OK for you. Um, please do have a look at the website. You'll be able to download all of the worked answers for all of these histogram type questions. And I look forward to seeing you inside the next video.